meet Jasmine. It's important that I go ahead and introduce you guys to her now because this is around the time that she was introduced to me and around the time that she entered my life. And as you can see from this photo, she is expecting. It's also important that you get to know her because that baby in her belly is in a lot of my future vlogs. I know you're probably wondering how she was introduced to me and why is she so important? Well, that's my best friend right there, Tylen, on the far right with the red locks. You guys should already be pretty familiar with her. But that is her husband on the opposite end. And this girl, Jasmine, is his daughter. It's not my best friend's daughter. She married into a blended family. He already had children. So Jasmine in the middle, the one that I just introduced you guys to, that's his daughter. And so I guess that will be considered Thailand's stepdaughter. But she's extremely close to Jasmine. Um, and she treats her just like her own daughter. And so therefore that baby that's in Jasmine's belly will be considered my best friend's grandchild. How cool is that, right? So those pictures were taken at her baby shower, which I was not able to attend, but I did still go on her registry and I ended up buying her this car seat right here and having it delivered it to her from Amazon. And last but certainly not least, I wanted to introduce you to Jasmine's husband, Stephen. There definitely would not be a baby without him. So, hey, Stephen and Jasmine. I used to always think that a husband and wife brushing their teeth together was only something people did in the movies, but I actually do that with my husband quite often. It's mainly because he bought us these two matching toothbrushes they are his and hers he has black i have purple they're mechanical they are required to be charged with the usb port they have a charger and you have to switch out the toothbrush heads every once in a while as well it takes two entire minutes to brush your teeth because it does 30 seconds at the bottom on the left, 30 seconds at the bottom on the right, 30 seconds at the top on the left, and then finally 30 seconds at the top on the right. And it like switches off and then turns back on to indicate that it's time to move to the next section. And so we just decided that that's two minutes that we could spend together. I mean, you have to brush your teeth, so... You might as well do it together. But I will be honest, like before this toothbrush, I don't remember spending that long. Maybe I spent 60 whole seconds, but not two whole minutes. I mean, was that gross? I don't know. Also, if I had to give this toothbrush a rating, um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, honestly. I mean, I just don't like it. <laughs> So about a week ago, I posted a YouTube video and it was titled, I Have Concerns. It was referencing a prescription skincare regimen that I had tried and it needed me to keep it on for 8 to 12 hours and I had to apply it in all of these different layers and this is an update. This is how my skin looks afterwards. And yes, I suffered a burn. And let me tell you something. I dealt with this burn. It only got worse. This was the beginning stages, but I dealt with it probably for an entire month. Like it was a mess. But do you see how raw and pink that looks right there in the corner of my mouth? Yeah, it tore it up. All right, so Ridley has her community. Let me see. You got the bread and the blood. And Remy, you got your communion. You got your bread and your blood. Daddy. And then here's mommy's. So we're going to go ahead and take communion on Resurrection Sunday, okay, guys? We're going to take the wafer as the broken body and the juice as the shed blood, okay, baby? Okay. So I am in therapy and I have been for years and I go every single Tuesday around three o'clock and this was a series that my therapist highly recommended me to watch. So I immediately found it and I asked my husband to watch it with me and the rest was history. I've only watched like 
45 seconds of it and it's so good already so i'm going to go ahead and recommend this and introduce you guys to this series but it's so good it's about emotional intelligence and feelings and things like that so yeah let's just jump right into it television and film clips what is it to really step back and watch emotion unfold and that feeling that we all get we're like oh i know that what's that called we are emotional beings we make decisions based on our emotions. But somehow, as we arrive into adulthood, we realize that we've never been taught how to recognize, name, label, manage, work through, talk about how we're feeling. Here's the thing. We've been through a lot, and most of us feel pretty disconnected from ourselves and from each other. Maybe who you are now and who I am now just don't fit anymore. So in this series, we're going to learn how to identify and name 30 emotions. We're going to talk about a framework for meaningful connection. Let me stop right here. So this footage was taken at a slumber party on April 27th, 1991. Can you believe it? I feel so blessed to have this footage. The girls whose slumber party it was, her mom threw her like a party many years later and she had all of this archived onto a DVD. And that was one of the party favors that she gave to all the girls that came to the party. But anyway, so yeah, enjoy the footage. And it's not the entire DVD all the way through. I just took out a few clips here and there of me. Me, Amber, it was her slumber party that I was attending. That's me. Do y'all see me right there? That's me right there. <laughs> Look at me. Do y'all recognize this person? Oh, yeah, I know y'all recognize her from the back. <laughs> Is that inappropriate, Daddy? <laughs> My husband said that's inappropriate. I am pigeon. So, look, look, look. Oh, Coke bottle, Coke bottle. Y'all, look at me. Hey. <laughs> I don't know who taught me how to dance like that. Oh, oh, break it down. Get it, girl. Get it, get it. Oh, 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 she went, what? That's me. Yes, that is me. That is me. Oh, oh, get it. Hey, hey. You know what? This is where my kids get it from. What's up, sis? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, y'all. Why am I so hyped like this? You see the girl on the pink? What's your friend? Why we don't do this no more? Why are my hands on my head? What what's happening? Mm. I think I'm gonna try to pull Remy's tooth out, y'all. Oh my god! All right, 
Open your mouth. Ready? Oh, it didn't come out. It's okay. Open your mouth. The last one came out really easy. I'm sorry. Okay.